Now, if you drive around Joburg, chances are that you were one of those drivers who were pulled over by the Metro Police. But instead of being asked to produce your license, which is what they usually do, you may have been told about your utility bill. This as the city has roped in the JMPD to assist in collecting unpaid rates and taxes that are owed to the city. Now, over 47 billion rand is owed to the city of Johannesburg. But law expert William Booth says that what the city is doing is illegal. He joins us now to unpack this further for us. Mr. Booth, thank you for your time this morning on the South African Morning. So, so tell us exactly what is happening now. Yes, the city did say that they would be implica uh, implementing this, that they would join forces with the JMPD to try and collect outstanding rates and taxes from residents. And they have actually now started putting this into effect. But you're saying that's illegal? Yes, good morning. Um, definitely. Uh, one cannot pull over a motorist without having some of other legal reason to do so. If there is a roadblock that's set up, one has to apply for that to be set up. There's a process that has to be followed. So usually those are set up to check whether vehicles are roadworthy and um, in respect of uh, incidents of drunken driving for example. So to pull over somebody and then to determine whether or not they have an outstanding account um, with the city for, let's say, rates or electricity or whatever, um, is my, in my view, is not legal. Um, what, what do they intend doing? So if they pull a motorist over and uh, go up to them and say, look, you haven't paid your electricity bill and... Um, what 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 are the what are the officials then? What does law enforcement then do with that person? They can't arrest them. It's not a criminal offence uh, to have not paid your electricity bill, for example. So if they arrest them, that is definitely an illegal arrest, and the city and the law enforcement of the city would be uh, or could potentially be held responsible for damages, for an unlawful arrest. According to the CFO of, uh, of, of, of the city of, of Joburg, at times they do threaten you uh, with arrest. And he says, however, that their main aim is to make sure that you either, one, sign an acknowledgement of debt or you pay up. If you don't want to pay up for whatever reason and you don't want to sign an acknowledgement of debt, we do know of instances, William, where people are actually looking into their statements and they're saying, no, but I don't owe ESCOM 15,000 rand. I, I don't have a water bill of 20,000 rand. I'm actually disputing this bill. What happens then? What are the rights of, 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 the, of the citizen and the driver in this instance? Well, obviously, you have situations where the city says you owe X and you, and you dispute that. These are civil actions that must be taken by the city. So if they wish to um, claim whatever amount they say is outstanding, it's a civil claim that has to be instituted against the uh, person, and that person has the full right to oppose that in the civil court. But if you can't go and say, well, look, you've got to pay your electricity bill, you, and if you don't pay it, I'm going to arrest you. I mean, that's completely illegal, unconstitutional. They cannot do that. Uh, so, you know, what is the reason for even implementing this? And if there's a dispute on the bill, what are they going to do? How are they going to, how's law enforcement going to resolve that dispute on the side of the road? So, so, how, so how, do you, how do you then, William, on the back of that question, how does law official then resolve that dispute? What do you do? as a citizen, to legally get out of the situation because you don't want to be arrested, you don't want to be harassed, but you yourself feel that you actually really have a case to put forward and you're not in agreement with what the city of Joburg is saying. What are the legal processes that need to happen for you to ensure that you ring fence yourself? Well, you immediately say this is not a situation that, that you have any right. To, to try and claim any amount that that uh, allegedly owing to the city for its outstanding rates. So you've got to you've got to say these are my rights. But I mean the law enforcement know what the constitution says. They know when and when not to arrest somebody. Uh, so you've got to 
so to say, put your foot down and say that. But, but, but the sad situation is they might continue with their illegal action, lock you up, keep you overnight, and then what? Well, then you have a, a, a full recourse to sue the city and all that particular law enforcement officer um, for damages for unlawful arresting you and if they detain you overnight for that period of detention. But it, it is, you know, obviously a bit frightening for many motorists who stopped and the few law enforcement officers come to your window and start harassing you and, uh, and making plans which are in fact illegal. You know, it places you in, in, in a predicament. You know what your rights are. You know what the law is. They don't enforce the law. So, you know, it, is, it can potentially be a frightening uh, incident. I mean, there have been stories about people saying, well, you know, law enforcement say, come along to the ATM and uh, draw money and please pay the fine to them. <laughs> which is also illegal. I mean, that, uh, that's a situation of uh, potential bribery and, and corruption on the part of the law enforcement official. So what I'm saying is make sure you know what your rights are. That is, you do not have to pay that bill on the side of the road if pulled over. And they do, have, they do not have any basis whatsoever to, to arrest you. And you've got to say... Uh, you know, your arrest is being illegal. But, you know, it is frightening and, uh, and intimidating. But this is completely illegal. I mean, the city mustn't even embark on a process like this. I cannot believe that, <laughs> that the city of Johannesburg and its law enforcement officials would even remotely think of embarking on a whole process which is totally, utterly unconstitutional and illegal. I mean... For heaven's sake, how can they even go and do this? Um, I'm going, before I let you go, William, I'd like to ask you this question. Earlier on in our conversation, you said that obviously before a roadblock can take place, there has to be an application and that application has to be approved. And the reasons why that roadblock is going to be approved is, for example, to catch uh, you know, drunk drivers, to check the roadworthiness of vehicles. Is it a possibility, maybe, that the city of Johannesburg did a co-application, maybe, with the JMPD, in order for um, their services or their functions to be executed alongside the functions of the JMPD? So if, you've got, if you're applying to have set up a roadblock, it's got to be a legal application. So to apply to have a roadblock set up for um, collecting outstanding debt, there is no basis for that. So whoever gives that authority is clearly acting illegally because as i said earlier if you find that somebody is owing money and let's say that person even agrees he owes the city money what follows are they going to arrest no they cannot how are they going to collect the money the person says i don't have any money on me now you know i mean it's, it's just nonsensical it's just there's no there's got to be a rationale a logical rationale behind this kind of action. And my view is that there is absolutely no basis to embark on this procedure. Follow the other processes which are set out in the law, institute civil action uh, through the civil courts. The person then has a right to oppose that and dispute any issues that he may or she may wish to dispute through the civil courts. Mm. William not Bruce, at the roadblock. <laughs> not at the roadblock. We hear you loud and clear. No. Law expert William Booth, thank you so much for, uh, for that.